Ladies, gentlemen, children, and prospective employees, may I welcome you to my fair at Pockley. You are here, first of all, to pay respect to me, and secondly, to seek employment. The summer season is upon us, and I need plenty of workers. But before we do that, we will celebrate the good mood, the good sun, and what God has sent for us by having our fair. But I must remind thee of the rules of the said fair. All persons are strictly charged to keep the peace and to do nothing in the disturbance of the said fair or else they will answer to the contrary at their <laughs> peril. Where are the stocks, young man? The stocks are over there. Have them ready. Let it be said that the boundary of our fair has been agreed and no tax dodger or trader can suggest that they were unaware of these rules. Anyone trading outside the boundary of the fair will come be... Will you pay attention to me instead of making such a noise, wench? <laughs> Quack doctor! Quack doctor! He's another one. He's more concerned with his leech than listening to me. However, anyone trading outside the boundary of the fair will come before the court of Pow Powder and be reasoned with. But if necessary, they will be disciplined and displayed in the stocks for a period. I shall give you a rundown of the entertainment that I have provided for us. You will see later on the red coats, whose wonderful coats match the blood on the end of my stick. There will be barrel rolling, a dis falcons on display. We'll be visited by my pack horse, the quack do doctor, when he's finished talking to that nice blonde young lady. I don't know what the attraction is there. He will look after any ailments that you have. We have an exotic young man behind us who will give us all sorts of demonstrations of beds of nails and escaping from chains. We have exotic creatures on display. Spiders, snakes and dragons from the new world. We have crafts for you to enjoy. Corn dolly making, lavender bags, clog making, basket weaving, traditional woodcraft and a silhouette cutter who will amaze you with his dexterity with his scissors. We have goods on sale, garden produce produced on my land, gingerbread baked in my kitchen and refreshments provided, soup and all sorts of other exotic things far too superior for you people but you may partake. We have entertainment, we have a noisy, noisy, noisy coconut shy, I shall be speaking to her later. You can play shove halfpenny. We have musicians, you've already heard my magnificent piper Mr Shaw. We have fiddlers, we have pipers, we have clog dancers, all for your entertainment. At quarter past twelve, I shall be looking for young people who are going to work for me. I see we have somebody already. Lavender. 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 I appear to have at least three housemaids. What are you going to do, young man? You're going to scare the birds. You scare me, let alone the birds. So, I ask you all to enjoy the spirit of our fair. Let no man or woman be drunk in the hedge, or they will suffer the consequences. I've got my eye on you, young fellow. Keep on the coffee, not the drink. So, without further ado, I'm going to hand over to the magnificent Danny Five, who will be followed in the Great Shed by Mr. Svensson's Flea Circus. He's one short. So, welcome, welcome to the Fair of Pockley. I bid you enjoy today. Thank you. Oh, 
It said, strangely, they hired a, a van to do the job. And when the van crashed, people jumped out of the back and you know, we're going to smooth the side there, please, whilst we'll be trotting up here. Thank you. But you said that you've oh, lost your bike. Oh, I <laughs> She's going to get a red head next year. Yeah. She'll get all red hair, well, red feathers next year. Is it a red head? No, it's a Lana Falcon because we're peregrine. She's got more Lana in her, so. Uh, that's a, a special kind of falcon that's called a Jew falcon because we're Seika falcon. Yeah. This gives you the best type.